Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's someone, and welcome back to another installment of Let's Dive In. Today we're finally, and I mean finally, I can't stress that enough, here for another episode. A long-awaited episode on cannabis. It's been over a year and a half, I think, since the last episode, and the thing was, I never intended for this next episode to take so goddamn long. I started working on the video in June of 2019, only to pick it up again earlier this fall, where I finished it in December. If you're wondering why the hell did it take so long, well, just life. What can I say? A lot has changed in terms of where I live, what I'm focusing on, the kind of money I'm making to be able to comfortably do this, the people I'm with, the place I'm at with this channel, my drug use in general, and all these sorts of things influence this. But I'm extremely happy to be bringing this video, and even happier to say I'm at a point in my life where I feel like I'm on track with my purpose and this channel. And I feel I can safely say that for the next episode of Let's Dive In, don't expect as long of a delay. I can guarantee you that. Which, by the looks of it, we may be going into DXM or Kratom most likely. That might change, but that's the plan as of now. And if you don't know, this video and series is basically a review of the substance mentioned. I partake in a number of trials, and will be presenting my collective experience as well as objective information on the substance. There's a lot to talk about, I'll have things on screen to make it easier to follow along, but it's pretty simple to understand for the most part. So let's waste no more time and jump right into this. What is it? So starting with the most standard question you could probably ask about a substance. What is it exactly? Where does it come from? What does it do? All that jazz. I don't think we'll have to dive too deep to explain this one, as cannabis is a very popular substance at this point. But the actual history and usage of it dates back thousands of years ago, first thought to be in Asia. It's a naturally growing plant, a flower to be specific, and is most commonly smoked, but not limited to forms like vaporization and oral ingestion. But for the sake of this video, we limited the review to smoking only, by combustion that is. The reason for this is because smoking a blunt is going to be different than an edible or taking a dab. To a degree that is. You're still getting high, but the intensity, lengths, and various other factors cause it to differ. I started with smoking, and it is still my favorite way to consume it, so I figured we'll start with that and slowly make our way to the others in other reviews. But coming back to cannabis, the main compound people know of and is responsible for the psychoactive effects is THC. But cannabis carries much more cannabinoids than just that, the next most common being CBD, but there's others like CBN, CBG, which can also have an influence. Another thing I want to bring up here that will be a big theme of this video is strain type. Now there are thousands of weed strains, but they can all be categorized into three different groups, sativas, hybrids, and indicas. Sativas are known to have more THC, and thus are known to be more wakeful, possibly provide focus, and just a more in-the-head experience. Indicas are known to provide a prominent body high, often containing a rich amount of other cannabinoids beyond THC to do so. While hybrid is just as it sounds, it's a blend of the two to create a more balanced experience. You get both worlds, but it is like its own experience itself compared to the other two. Dose this is one of the most inconsistent things I've seen with cannabis use, mainly due to the subjectivity of it, the potency, the strain, the route of administration, and the cultural influence it has on people. So I try and find an accurate source for what an effective dose is supposed to be for smoking it, and I get results anywhere from 0.05 to a 0.15. And if you're a smoker, you already know that's basically nothing, like that's basically one bowl pack. Now I agree to some degree that a 0.1 for someone with no tolerance would probably get them high somewhat, but nowhere near fried or stoned. When I was first introduced to smoking, it was a blunt right away, and most times we would have two or three of them. And I have to admit my first time smoking, and when I was a newbie in general, doing 10 times the effective dose got me retarded fried, but I don't necessarily regret it, nor think I should have just smoked a 0.1. But I also think that part of it is, how high it is that you want to be, and also how susceptible you are to getting high. Because I've seen some people just need like 4 hits and be acting goofy. I'd probably say do about a quarter gram if you have no tolerance 
for a solid experience, and a gram if you have a tolerance built. And I mean this for recreational experience. Because for this video and the test and trials and whatnot, this is the most unorthodox dosaging I've ever given. But only reason I am, because it depends on the person and how they react with it. Quick info. For a drug test, it can take up to 30 to 60 days to get out of your urine. For a hair test, it can take months. A blood test, it can take up to days. And for a saliva test, it can take up to one to three days. This will all depend on the state of the user and how much they actually smoke. One hit's gonna be very different than smoking a full one. For the LD50, not possible. When it comes to combinations, I would just be wary when combining it with psychedelics as you could just blast off and it may send your trip to a not so fun place. The same could be said of stimulants. What does it do? Your expected effects, recreationally, there can be cognitive and physical euphoria, laughter, music enhancement, novelty enhancement. The negatives can include dry eyes, dry mouth, anxiety, paranoia, coughing, and respiratory issues. And the conditional effects include sedation, stimulation, sleepiness, quasi-psychedelic effects, decreased blood pressure, increased heart rate, appetite enhancement, time distortion, and dream suppression. And what is it used for? Nausea, pain relief, appetite, relaxation, insomnia, mood, and some other personal ones such as creativity or focus, and one of the biggest being recreational activity. My experience. Now that we got the basics laid out, let me explain what I'll be presenting subjectively for this video. Because at the end of the day, that's what a review is. Now I've talked a shit ton about cannabis already on this channel, we're into 6 seasons of smoke sessions, which you probably say, hey, I like this stuff. I kinda recommend watching my first time smoking cannabis, just to see more of my first impressions and how I got into it, but it isn't necessary. For this video, I'll be talking about my collective experience, which now is many years of smoking, pretty much every day. And I'll also be bringing up 9 different trials that were performed while using cannabis. In the last episode of Let's Dive Into Codeine, we did the same thing where we tried the substance under different set doses, and then we would report how we would feel under various common circumstances. There should be some stuff up on the screen if you get confused by this. But to keep it simple, I tried 3 Indicas, 3 Hybrids, and 3 Sativas for a total of 9 trials, each at a dose of 0.5, a gram, and 2 grams. In other words, the 0.5 being a light dose, a gram being a medium dose, and 2 grams a strong dose. Now because I have a tolerance as a natural smoker, I set the dose higher, like I said before. With no tolerance, you won't need a whole lot to get an effective dose. But once dosed with any of the previous mentioned, I would take note of my current state of being, which includes my mood, my energy level, and then my sociability. And then we follow that by performing a bunch of different tests. We test how food is, how our creativity is, how it is to do some type of work, how it is to do physical activity, how it is going on a walk, how music sounds, and finally, how entertainment is. I picked all of these because they are pretty common activities people take part in. Basically the trials are a more in-depth analysis of how the cannabis experience is and how it varies across activity, strain type, and dosage. So hopefully that makes sense, we're going to go into what happened with these trials now, and then we'll have a general summary near the end of how cannabis is collectively for me. It's a review, and that's exactly what's going on, just very detailed in a subjective manner. Group 1, Indicas So let's just start with Indicas, why not? Indicas since the beginning have been for the most part my favorite out of the three, but I will admit some of the sativas out there have given me very rich experiences as well. I'm not as experienced with sativas, but they could very well be a close contender when picking out my strain types. But it really does come down to what kind of experience you're looking to have. Either way, I like indicas because they've always been the type to provide a full body cerebral high. This kind of high tends to be the most quasi psychedelic for me, and typically tends to act as the most recreational. The relaxation and sedation indicas can provide 
promote easygoing activities like being a couch potato, playing video games, just chilling, you know? I don't know why I get more recreational effects from Indicas. It could just be the full body high. It's just something I tend to enjoy more and sink into. And I'm not saying I can't get these effects from other strains. It's just that Indicas have tended to provide this the most consistently. I somewhat have attributed this to the fact that I am more of a downer person when it comes to my substance use, and when I am smoking, I am typically looking to relax anyways. And not to say indicas can't cause anxiety or paranoia. In fact, some of the stronger indicas I notice can bring that weed paranoia out of someone. But for the most part in my experience, through a countless amount of strains I've tried, and through these trials as well, I'll say, and you'll see what characterizes an indica for the most part. Every strain will have its own character at the end of the day. Even getting more specific, you can get down to how it's grown and whatnot. But I do think that these trials do represent well what one can typically experience on an indica. So let's go over these indica trials. 500 milligram indica. So for the first trial, which was at 500 milligrams, I smoked with my good homie Tyler, someone I have brought up in a story or two before. We hit up the dispo, and got 0.5 pre-rolls for this, the strain being Platinum Valley OG. Now I forgot to take a pic of the actual pre-rolls, but I did get the label, so for all you weed nerds out there, y'all can see what's up here. Now I love the strain Platinum OG. I would consider it a very solid ground indica, and I feel like most people would agree with that if they've had it. Definitely one that can get you fried up good. So my expectations for the Platinum Valley OG were somewhat the same, and to say the least, at a half gram with my tolerance, this joint didn't disappoint. Now I did smoke this after a long shift, so I was naturally looking to relax, so this could have played a role. Either way though, an indica would be considered the perfect thing to smoke after a long day of work. Now smoking this was just a joy. It was very much on par compared to Platinum OG, which with that, it is kind of hard to define the taste exactly. Kind of bold if that makes sense. Like not rough, it was smooth but solid smoke like kind of woody, a slight pine taste, and also slightly sweet. And not to make it sound weird or whatever, it tasted like good fucking bud. I pretty much felt this come on right away though. I got into a really relaxed mood, and it hit the spot, especially for my body. I just pretty much sat back, not wanting to do a whole lot, which did end up influencing how this trial went. Though I was tired in a way, I took note that my sociability felt much more natural and fluid than normal. Tyler and I were talking about whatever much more than usual, but when it came time for us to do the test, we weren't necessarily the most motivated, specifically towards the more strenuous ones. For the work test, we took part in some cleaning that needed to be done in the apartment, but especially after work, I wasn't motivated to do very much here. When it came to the creativity, Tyler struggled finding exactly what he wanted to do with this, but I did some writing, which I felt there was some enhancement here, but I did feel a pull to do something more recreational, which is a big theme for many of these trials. For Tyler, definitely. For the physical activity, we decided to do some stretching, which felt good, but when it came to walking, this was something I wasn't trying to do necessarily. It was pretty cold out already, so we only walked briskly around the block, which I think this could have been better if the conditions were right. But the other test, like the food test was enhanced, I remember smashing dinner that night, the music was enhanced, I found myself getting lost into it more easily and paying attention to its detail more, and the entertainment test was easily the best aspect of this night. We ran some classic zombies, which is something we found easy fun in and enjoyment out of. I would say almost a perfect fit for the high. Trial 2, 1 gram indica. Now for the second indica trial, the 1 gram dose, I copped some blueberry from the dispensary. I did this with my girlfriend, so both of us took a gram to the face. It should be on screen now, which this stuff didn't exaggerate on the term blueberry. This stuff was very blue and purple and tasted beautifully. Very, very good looking bud, and that's what you can come to expect when you get good quality. This is definitely one I would recommend for just a good tasting, good smelling weed, but even then, it's a very strong indica. Now a gram will get me right pretty much at any time. That's typically how I would smoke now to be fried. But this stuff had me very relaxed and put me in a very good mood. If you ever had some bud that just made you happy about things, this would be one to fit that quota. I was really chilled out after smoking this, 
Kind of wanted to get lost in a couch walk rather than do much physically, but I was slow and steady with what I was doing. I wouldn't say lethargic, but I was just moving with a cool head. My sociability didn't feel enhanced with this though. If anything, I felt a bit more introverted than usual. When it came to the test, I wasn't tired like the first trial, I was just normally going about my day. So for the work trial, this felt pretty natural. I worked on some school stuff at the time and just doing some things I had to do for class, which this is something I would normally do, work while stoned. So if anything, I just felt if this was the same, just in a slower manner. But with the creativity is where things shined. Things just came out in a beautiful way. I decided to do some personal journaling and things just naturally came out objectively and poetically with much less effort than normal too. The creativity was a big plus here. When it came to the physical activity, I decided to stretch as it was nearing the end of the day, and I felt that was most fitting for us. With this too, it was somewhat effortless and relief was found easily, which I feel like the high made it more satisfying than normal. And if you haven't done yoga fried, that's an experience in itself. The food test went as expected, had a double burger, shit smacked, and just to say, most of the time when you're fried, just the act of eating itself and taste feels much more enhanced and enjoyable. The music too went as expected, but with this being an indica, this effect did stand out in a way to me more than say a hybrid. I felt a bit more cerebral with this one, and there was euphoria to be found in the music. Again with the walk here, I did somewhat enjoy it, but the conditions weren't too favorable. Plus, the feelings from the high just made me want to chill rather than go very far. Then for the entertainment aspect, we watched a show, which, like the music, was very easy to get lost into and enjoy. My girlfriend felt the same for the most part, other than her sociability was up at the start, but dropped as time went on, and she noted her creativity was active in her head, but when it came to outputting, she was having trouble articulating it. Part of this reason was, was that she felt very slow with things, especially when it came to the work test. And I will say that the time here did stand out as well, about an hour or so in is when more sedative qualities of the experience began to emerge. I'd say this is pretty common itself in most marijuana highs like this. You enjoy the peak of the high and then slowly doze off as you're coming off. Trial number 3, 2 gram indica. So here's the big daddy for our indicas, this one being blue cookies, which should be on the screen now. Definitely a solid pack and a solid indica for what it was but not something that stood out crazy. It was just some solid weed. But with this, this ended up being a pretty nice sized bomber to the face at two grams. And it isn't just every day that I'm doing two Gs to the face. I typically like to make my weed last long enough. So with this, I got fried up really good. But I ended up doing a trial alone. And after smoking this, I felt really baked and super relaxed physically and mentally. I really felt the mental aspect with this one I didn't want to do a ton of hard thinking or concentrate very hard on something. I just wanted to be at peace and flow calmly with things. Like, I was fluid with what I was doing and what was going on, but at a much slower pace. As how my sociability was, I would say it was similar to how the blueberry went. I didn't feel very motivated to talk, but more so to just be and do me. As for the test, things went pretty well for the most part, but I did feel a strong recreational pull with this one. Like I didn't really want to do the work test with this one, but actually doing some chores weren't that bad. I didn't have any strain or resistance and carried the flow I had into it. With creativity, I decided to do some editing for YouTube, which I say partially fits the quota for this. And I do have to say, I did feel more easily focused in on the video I was working on. Again, for the physical activity, all I really wanted to do was stretch and stretching itself, especially off an indica and if you need it, can feel really good. The music went as expected, there was an enhancement and an easiness just to get lost into whatever was playing. Food again smacked. For the walk, this was actually the only trial I decided nah, no walk for this night. Part of the reason I made that decision was the 2G's definitely made me more tired and just want to chill out overall. Plus, it was super cold out. And the entertainment test was the highlight here. I played some video games and watched some basketball, both of which I just got lost into and fit the vibe I was looking for. Group number two, hybrids. Now we're moving into the middle, the mix of the two, the hybrid. 
Like I said before, a hybrid is known to be more of a balanced high in terms of body and mind effects. It isn't too strong where it can get you in your head heavy like a sativa, and it isn't too strong in the way where you'll end up wanting to take a nap an hour in. Now not to say a hybrid can't provide you with either of those cases, you simply just need enough weed, or maybe the right hybrid, but it aims to provide a balance between these two, ideally giving you effects from both, possibly offering a more favorable experience. But even then when smoking a hybrid, I don't necessarily feel like I'm smoking a balanced mix of body high and mind high all the time. It can go either way and the blend itself can just be like its own experience. Just a bud high with its own style if that makes any sense. And hybrids are probably the most common of the three strain types. I feel like it's actually rare to find a strain that isn't a hybrid in some way. Whether that be 50-50, 70-30, or even something like 80-20, 90-10. These are still all technically hybrids, just with varying traits of sativa and indica. And most common strains you think of, like the basic ones especially, are typically hybrids. Like your Girl Scout cookies, gelato, Gorilla Glue, Wedding Cake, Blue Dream, all of those are hybrids. And for the sake of this video, and showcasing an actual hybrid, Going in, I made sure these strains were at least 70-30, ideally 50-50. But I've smoked a shit ton of hybrids at this point, and to me, I don't even consider Bud special because it happens to be a hybrid. Normally if it's a hybrid, then I'll consider it just some Bud. I'll more so just base it off the looks, the smoke, and actual experience of it. While with Indicas and Sativas, I can at least expect which way the experience is going to end up leaning towards. But let's get into these three trials I did for the hybrids. Trial number one, 500 milligram hybrid. Now for the 0.5 trial, I did this with my buddy Tyler again. This was around the same time we went for our Indica trial at the Dispo, where we picked up some other pre-rolls of some G6, also known as Jet Fuel. And this wasn't my first time smoking G6. I remember G6 as just slapping me up in such a unique cerebral way the first time I smoked it. It was literally like I stepped into a whole other world with it, similar to the first time I smoked I would even say. So going into this one, my expectations weren't low at all, and I'm happy to say that this ended up being a very satisfying experience. Again, at only a 0.5 pre-roll, this little guy got me decently baked. I did feel like it was a really solid hybrid, I didn't feel too strongly either way, body or mind. I did feel my focus somewhat increase on the mental side though. I did happen to do this trial after work as well, and I received a nice body relaxation to complement that. My energy was balanced I would say. I didn't feel too tired as I did with the Indicas by any means, but I also didn't want to do a whole lot. My sociability went up with this smoke, Tyler and I went on to talk about some pretty deep personal stuff, and it all came out with ease. As for the test, the work test went okay. We did some cleaning here, but it wasn't something we were trying to do necessarily. The creativity test went pretty well, I decided to journal, and Tyler draw. And I wrote some things that I didn't expect to come out, so I would say this was enhanced. We did some stretching for the physical activity, it was relieving, and easier to hone into it than normal. But I did note that something strenuous wouldn't be as enjoyable though. The music test went as expected. Normally we would play hip hop for the most part, but we did play some piano this night, and that sounded amazing. A very rich aspect. Then for the food, you already know shit went in, and I went hard with this. For the walk, at first I thought this wasn't going to be the best, as the body high definitely had me relaxed in a way, and it wasn't the number one activity I was looking forward to. But when we went, this is when I felt the sativa part of the substance come out more. We went on a trail nearby, and the walk was definitely quasi-psychedelic. Things looked and felt somewhat surreal. When we walked, Tyler described it as almost being like on a roller coaster, with our legs just following the path on automatic. And just going outside and having that change of perspective played a strong role too, being close to nature as well. It just really brought out a different side of the high. And for our final test, the entertainment test, we ran some zombies and easily fell into the game. Tyler often notes he plays better when high which I would say the same for myself, but we had a lot of fun finishing the experience off of that. Trial number two, one gram hybrid. 
Now this next trial and the one after are two that I actually didn't write the strain info down. This second hybrid trial at 1 gram was done back in August, and the third trial was done back in July of 2019. Only recently at the end of October did I get in and finish off the rest of the trials. And that's when I figured I should be writing down the strain name and get some footage of what we're chiefing. Now I do happen to have the date of when this was written, and at the time I had the strains Thin Mints and Fire OG. Knowing me, I most likely picked the Thin Mints to smoke, so I would just assume that's what it was and show that off. And going into it, I was a bit excited, but after smoking, I ended up in a very laid back, relaxed state. My head felt pretty clear and I got a significant amount of dry mouth. Now my body was pretty relaxed for the most part, but my mind was active. Though, when it came to sociability, I found myself just wanting to be by myself and chill out. As for the test, I did some organizing for the YouTube channel and found myself easily getting lost into what needed to be done, a solid aspect this time around. The creativity test though, I found it was somewhat more difficult to execute and focus, but I was somewhat better able to picture where it was I wanted to go with my writing. For the physical activity test, I stretched out my IT bands as I had recently pulled them around this time. I wouldn't say it felt better nor worse to do so. The music test went as expected, very similar to how I described it in prior trials, and this time around, I chose to listen to rock. The food test went as expected too, the walk was fantastic, it was a strong vibe at the time. My legs went into automatic, and I just enjoyed the nature around me on a trail nearby. Even being tired physically somewhat, the enjoyment of the walk made me not realize that aspect. And for the entertainment, I watched some YouTube videos, which of course felt enjoyable, and just more easier to get lost into. Trial number three, two gram hybrid. Now this is when the first trial happened. I did it with the good homie Marcel, a classic character within our stories, the bro. Now as for the strain type, I can't exactly say. I remember making sure it was a hybrid when I got it, but I didn't make any note anywhere of what this weed was. I didn't even take a picture of it, but Marcel got us joints for this, not like king size either, but the small half gram cones. It was kind of stupid. We stopped at the tobacco store to get blunts, but Marcel got sold on these 0.5 pre-rolls, which we would regret. Reason being, when we stuffed those bitches up, he didn't even have a grinder for this. So it took damn near an hour just to break everything down, just right, and then stuff them. Which I guess you could consider a con, but we just weren't properly prepared. And smoking them too just felt like more of a challenge because we had to go through four joints each. Regardless though, we get those two grams down and we were geeked. Especially Marcel, since he doesn't smoke like that normally. I was really content, relaxed, but a little on edge. Things were very slowed down, and I was even a little dissociated I would say. Like if you ever get that cartoony feeling with Bud, that's pretty much where I was at. Geeked and stoned. But I did just want to chill and be in the moment I remember. Conversation was pretty calm, and I enjoyed the flow of it. When it came to the test, the work test was something I could still fall into pretty easily, but I definitely felt the pull to just relax. For creativity, I did writing for this, and for the most part, it was enhanced. The output felt increased, and so did my own critique of my work. For the physical activity, Marcel and I did some upper body work, mainly push-ups. The burn felt healthy here, as it normally does when I'm in the mood to work out high. The music test and food test went as expected, very enjoyable and the walk was quite the joy too. It felt healthy and like the right thing to do. It was nighttime and the stars were out, which was something that added heavy ambience to the mood. It was something to appreciate and I would say it was thought inducing. And for the entertainment test, we decided to run some video games, which actually didn't feel that enhanced as I thought it would be, but it was a fun time nonetheless. But overall at two grams, I found myself much more dazed and slowed compared to the lower doses, which I think this is simply due to the dosage. Group number three, sativas. Now for the last group of bud, the sativas. Sativas for whatever reason have been rare to come by in my time smoking. I don't know why that is specifically, maybe it's the area I'm in or just the people I know, but I feel like I would only get a sativa like every couple months or so. That isn't the case anymore thanks to the dispensary. But usually when they do come, it can be a very nice change of pace. With sativas, often the THC percentages on it will be much higher, 
often lying in the upper 20s or even lower 30s in some cases, depending on the quality of bud of course. Some may go lower, but most of the time, the bud will be concentrated with more THC. In result, most people report somewhat of a different high, many claiming that it's more in your head, making it somewhat more active. Because of this, some claim that sativas are good for the daytime. Your other cannabinoids, like CBD, won't be as active to cause that body high that gets you tired or lazy for some. It's often encouraged to engage in some type of activity, as this can really shine when it comes to creativity. But in all, I feel like there is almost a different magic when it comes to a sativa. Almost like the high is more alive than slowed and stoned if that makes sense. I think these trials we ran here will help shed some more light on that. Trial number one, 500 mg sativa. So for this sativa trial, I of course had to do it with Tyler again, as we did all the 0.5 trials together. But this time around, we got some East Coast Sour Diesel. Sour D is probably the most common sativa people think of when you ask them what strains are sativa. But we never had the East Coast version, so we were in for a treat. But this was another one where I did after a long day of work, and admittedly, I was pretty tired going into this. Which does play a role, because the sativa somewhat wakes me up in a way. But we smoke, and I feel it pretty much right away. I get happy, somewhat cheerful, but it also gets me more in my head a little. I had an increase in my energy to enjoy things. It wasn't an increase in physical energy, but mental. When it came to sociability, I did end up getting in my head a bit more and ended up a bit less sociable than normal. But when I did focus on it, conversation could flow easily at times. The food test smacked, of course, always does. For the work test, I ended up actually not wanting to do a whole lot. Normally we would run some cleaning or some personal stuff, but there was just a really strong pull to relax and enjoy the high. For the creativity, I wrote like I normally would, and I wouldn't say I was heavily influenced here. I feel like I wrote like I normally would for the most part. I know Tyler felt much more recreational this time around though. He definitely had to put in an effort when it came to output for work and creativity. The physical activity we stretched out, which did feel good. But I will say that coming in tired did play a strong role in that. The music was great of course, it made things chiller and set more of a vibe. For the walk, it wasn't the best walk because of my tiredness. So we made it quick and it wasn't the greatest this time around compared to the others. But our highlight was playing some video games. For that of course, we got zoned in and went ham. So being tired will play a strong role in this, but a sativa after work like this can definitely be a move if you still want to enjoy the night without knocking out quick. Trial number two, one gram sativa. So for the gram sativa, I did this one with the homie Marcel. We caught the strain Rollins from the dispo, and man, was this some quality weed and a very good sativa. Very high percent on top of that. Smoking on this was a big joy. But anyways, we smoked once, and it came on in a few minutes. Right away, I get into this super relaxed but focused mood that somewhat jumps from place to place. One second I feel like I'm lost in space and I'm just being, but then the next, I feel like I have a clear cut view of what's going on and what I need to do. Overall coming into this, this gave me a very active headspace. My energy felt somewhat elevated, by no means did I feel tired, but I felt steady. It was very recreational and I would say my energy shifted towards that vibe. As for my sociability, it would somewhat go with my changing mood, causing it to go up and down at certain points. Like, I'll be very interested in listening to someone talk at one point, but then the next moment, I would be lost. Mainly if I put focus into it though, it could be a positive. As for the food test, I didn't come in hungry on this one, so there wasn't a huge pool like the others to just eat. I ate a banana, Marcella popsicle, and we both noted it was very tasteful. For the work test, I did some things for YouTube, and I did feel some enhancement if I focused in on it. But in all honesty, there was still a strong recreational pool. Marcel brainstormed some ideas with Tyler, who happened to be around, about his work. So, there was an enhancement in that aspect. For the creativity, I wrote, which I felt like this was in line with the work test. Things came out easy for the most part, but only if I focused in, as part of me would just get lost in space and in the moment. Now we started the music with the physical activity test, which I decided on some push-ups. 
I started off slow, but the music played a strong psychological role in amping us up and getting more into it. When it came to the walk, this was probably the best part of the high. Things just felt magical with the perfect night setting. We went on a nearby trail and it just felt right being in nature. Our walk felt automatic and was very enjoyable. We ended the night with a chess game for the entertainment test, which we found to be very enjoyable and got lost into easily. We had a good battle and it was overall a fun night. Trial number three, two gram sativa. So for the third sativa trial, I did this with my girlfriend, which for this we picked up from the dispensary some Island Sweet Skunk, what turned out to be a really enjoyable sativa. Smoking it took a minute and I felt it come on pretty fast. The 2Gs definitely had me fried. I ended up feeling very blazed with this one, which you got to expect after that much. I was on a cloud nine type of high compared to the other experiences, like a classic geeked fried. It brought me back to the early days of smoking and just being high and happy in the moment. My girlfriend though described it as an enjoyable mellow high. She was relaxed and in the mood to get some stuff done. As for my energy, it was somewhat elevated but not to a huge degree. I do think that just from smoking 2Gs, it did also provide a nice body relaxation. But the high for the most part was head dominant. My mind would kind of just move forward with the things that I would focus on. For sociability, this was definitely up as me and my girlfriend were just talking about whatever that came up. This was a big plus. For the food test, I decided to eat some cereal as I wanted something sweet. Smashed on that. For the work test, this went pretty well. I was doing research for some upcoming videos and it was really easy to get lost into that. The only thing with this experience was that my eyes were dry as a motherfucker and kept tearing up. So in a way, that kind of threw things off for this. It would help if you got eye drops, especially if you start to smoke a bit heavier like this. For creativity, I worked on some YouTube related things, but it was more about outputting rather than inputting. So I did a lot of organization and planning for the channel and that went well. For the physical activity test, this was pretty fun. I chose to do an intense ab workout and I felt like I was in my head for the most part while doing this. I feel like the high gave me the ability to just eat the burn up from the workout. I was more easily able to get into the zone. Music of course was great. It provided a very steady euphoria throughout. The walk test went well too. I was able to get lost into the night as I would like when I'm high and it felt very natural as we went on a trail. And for the entertainment, chess was ran here between me and my girl. I say I was much more focused, much more analytical with my moves and the best moves just seemed to naturally come to me. Overall, I felt like the entire experience was great fun. Conclusion So, there you have it. A collection of subjective takes testing out different aspects of experience while using cannabis. I will say that just going through this, this format we are using is most likely going to be a template for something bigger. Difficulties and complications I found while running these trials were that the choices we made when it came to deciding what to do for each trial was biased. I often would lean towards the easier option or the more fun option, some might say. Same with the people I did it with. Also with this method, sometimes we wouldn't know exactly what to do for a test. Tyler especially didn't know exactly what to do for his creativity test, for example. And I've thought about this while finishing these trials, and since it was already in motion and done, I decided to present this in this format still. But in the future, I will be designing a more precise method to avoid these biases and complications. Plus, it's just going to make the video a whole lot more interesting and easier to follow. But regardless, we still presented a subjective take today and my experience with cannabis, specifically smoking it. Now some of you may already know what I'm going to say here, but I love to smoke cannabis. It probably is my most favorite substance of all, just because of how consistent, useful, and enjoyable it can be for me. I think we showed well what different doses can do, and remember, these are adjusted doses for my tolerance. This is probably way too much for someone new to this. I also think we showed well the differences between sativa, hybrid, and indica as well. They all have their purposes I feel like, and it is nice having that option in a way with your bud. 
It can be useful in various conditions. I think I showed well, it can work for focus, but at the same time, it has a strong recreational quality to it, especially the more you smoke. For some, this could be a negative, as it may cause them to be lazy, or other negatives I experience with smoking cannabis is dry mouth and dry eyes. I wouldn't say this is terrible, but it isn't exactly a desirable quality for most people. But I would say it really comes down on how you decide to use cannabis, how much, and for what purpose. There's varying aspects the world of cannabis can offer. Outside of these trials though, I feel like it has helped me keep my head on straight in a sense. And this is for a lot of reasons, but one of the biggest I think is its effects on focus and the relaxation you can get. There is also addictive potential for this, also the financial strain for some to consider. Two effects I have heavily experienced, more so in the past. In the right moderation, I can incorporate it into my life though, and just personally, it is a substance I highly enjoy, and I feel it helps me in various ways. So like our past dive-ins, we're going to give a rating of the substance, specifically on smoking cannabis. I would give this a 9.5 out of 10. That's right, smoking weed gets a 9.5 out of 10. I feel like there is a balance to cannabis, and it's not for everyone. This is my subjective rating based on my experience, remember. I've experienced slight complications with cannabis, enough to make me knock it down half a point. But it is so effective for me that the overall rating is what it is. So we're going to end it there. If you guys did enjoy this Let's Dive In, you want to see more Let's Dive In on other substances, other methods, two substances, or any kind of video at all, let me know in the comments below and we'll do that. If you enjoyed the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow the socials, share the video, it's been someone that's no one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.